I am Arian of Thracia, son of King Trevant. Altena, you could not understand father as deeply as I. It's been over three years since the infamous Trevant Grand Hero battle happened. Everyone was flabbergasted, confused, and probably laughing because Trevant made his fate debut with the legendary Silverlands Plus. The assumed reason this happened is because that version of Trevant had already given his Crusader weapon to his son, Arian. Three years later, and Arian is indeed here with his family's Gungnir Holy Lance. As a unit, Arian is a Lance Flyer. He's our first Gen 8 Lance Flyer, but that won't last for long. For stats, he has 41 HP, 45 attack, 36 speed, 46 defense, and 21 resistance. Very common Wyvern Rider stat spread, high attack and defense, some speed, and awful base res. We got a similar Lance Flyer earlier this year for Gen 7, but Aaron has one big way to stand out. Herod Gungnir is Aaron's personal weapon. This 16 weight lance has built in IOT shield and grants another plus 3 flat defense. At start of every turn, if above 25% health, Aaron gives himself and flying allies within 2 spaces, plus 6 attack and defense field boss, and the charge status for 1 turn. At start of combat, if above 25% health, Aaron gets plus 5 total stats, a free fall attack, and deals true damage on hit equal to 15% of his defense stat during combat. This won't apply to AoE specials. Herod Gungnir is a pretty decent free to play unique weapon. It's not a high bar, but if you're a slower unit and you get a free fall attack on your weapon, that's already an excellent trait. Arian isn't super slow, but 36 base speed isn't anything crazy. He'll break 40 speed in combat and with the free fall up, he can cancel out fall up denial and double via outspeeding at least into those really slow tanks. Along with a potential double, Arian gets plus 5 attack in combat, a plus 6 attack field buff, and extra true damage equal to 15% of that defense. With just Haired Gungnir, Arian would already hit 60 defense total. That will be 9 true damage per hit. He then gets to go on the hunt with the charge status. 3 warp movement in a line. Defensively, Aaron is a true Wyvern Rider. He has excellent defense, stacks more from his weapon, and has Iod Shield. Arrows will not hurt this man. Magic, on the other hand, uh oh. Aaron will give plus 5 res and may not get doubled by everyone out there, but any glass cannon mage will just shred through him unless you bring some extra defensive perks. There are some fun options to pick up. Last thing to mention, Aaron will be a budget legendary Hinaka. He gives nearby flying allies charge and instead of powerful cooldown reduction, Aaron can give them at least a decent plus 6 attack and defense buff. If you want to run a flyer emblem team with the ability to chase foes down in a line, Aaron can be a fun free to play option. Overall though, not a bad heroic row weapon at all, we can definitely work with this. For the rest of his base kit, Aaron has a couple interesting skills. He has Ignis for the big burst special damage. Aaron will be another attack and defense catch 3 holder, plus our attack and defense against full health foes or foes with debuffs. We then have a new free to play accessible skill in Wyvern Flight 3. Slightly complex, but basically you're going to do a speed check with the foe at start of combat. You get a 10 speed advantage and if you win that, then you do a defense check with the foe, also using at start of combat stats. If you win that, then inflict attack and defense debuffs equal to 50% of that difference. Aaron will have 49 defense with Gungnir, let's say the foe has 35 defense. That's a 14 point difference, half of that is 7, which is the max amount of debuffs Wyvern Flight 3 can inflict. It's not the best skill out there, but it's different, and it was previously only on 5 star Melody. We did get Pegasus Flight 3 on a non 5 star unit, and then we got Pegasus Flight 4. There is no Wyvern Flight 4, so maybe this is some foreshadowing. One thing to understand about Wyvern Flight or Pegasus Flight is that if you don't win the speed check, the skill is effectively useless. Arian will get a 10 speed advantage, but even 46 speed isn't exactly a guarantee. There are skills out there that don't require any speed checking, and honestly, I would maybe go with those for more consistency. Seeing what they did with Pegasus Flight 4, I'm not even really convinced a future Wyvern Flight 4 would be more enticing. Uh, maybe they could change it up though. Now, if you want to merge Aaron up, the Neutral Nature will give plus 1 HP, attack, and speed. If you want to go all in on physical tanking, that defense super boon would be quite fun. For free to play Lance Flyer comparisons, we have no shortage of competition. In fact, Aaron pretty much competes with the last Hero Grow edition in Spring Michaelis. Similar stats, although Aaron has his Gungner. If you wanted a pure slow option, Gale has the slowest speed and has higher HP and res. You may not immediately think of Arian as a faster Lance Flyer, but with Dragon Flowers, he pretty much is still right there with guys like Heath, Cormag, or Valter. 
Arian just focuses on attack and defense, whereas Cormac and Heath have higher res and HP, potentially better for just all around brawling. Then there is guys like Summer Shez, we have a lot of other faster Lance Flyers as well, but I have to mention Shez because he has a lot, good of, uh, a lot of good things going for him with his unique Brave Lance weapon, you should definitely check him out. I do also want to highlight Heath again, he should be next in line for Refine, so maybe keep an eye on him very soon. Now funny enough, Trevant with his new Thracia King Lance may be a better combative unit than Arian with Gungner. Stat wise, Arian has better attack speed and defense, no comparison there. Trevant though, throws everything into HP and he's going to get more via his refine. Both units will get IO shield. For stat boost, Arian gets plus 5 to all stats with his plus 6 attack and defense field boss. Trevant gets plus 8 to all stats. Trevant can inflict extra attack deals based on his defense. Arian deals extra damage based on his defense. And then for Comet perks, Aaron has a follow-up attack with Charge, Travant has a follow-up attack, Guard, and Breath type cooldown. That's a big last perk for Travant. In general, Travant's a little more defensive but can get to his special a lot faster. Aaron is more damage focused and can provide Charge and Field Buffs for his entire Flyer Emblem team. Mobility is important, but I'd say Travant got a little more spicy with the introduction of things like Gambit 4. That extra Breath type cooldown is huge for skills like that. Now, for the 3-4 to four star demoted Lance Flyers, Aaron will still be top donk if you just want attack or defense. He honestly isn't that slow, although that then becomes a conversation of is it wasted stats? I think it's okay though, since this weapon does get plus 5 speed, what that follow? With Dragon Flyers, Altena does start to creep up, especially since her HP is much higher. She also isn't that far due for a refine, another unit to keep an eye on if you want to build a Lance Flyer. For playstyles, Arian is obviously the true Wyvern Rider, high attack and defense, bad resistance, and he has some speed that could be useful. His main trait is being able to give charge to flying allies and himself, and they'll also get plus 6 attack and defense field buffs as a nice bonus. With charge, Arian and his flyers can run down foes in a line. When he gets to them, he's going to have that free fall up and has enough speed to outspeed slower tanks if he needs to cancel out fall up denial. Arian also has bonus true damage, scaling off his defense stat. In terms of survive ability, Aaron can use his superior defense to laugh at archers thanks to Iot Shield. It's a nice bonus to have. Regarding Wyvern Flight 3, it's not like a game breaking skill, but it's different, and Aaron can make it work with his stats. You need high enough flat speed, or the skill does not work at all. If you meet the speed check, you then do that high flat defense, since the more defense you got, the more attack and defense debuffs you inflict. It's not the best, but Fury does provide plus 3 speed and defense, the recoil damage is not great since Gungner has an HP condition. Brand new is the Squad Ace BV3 Sacred Seal. This one gives plus 5 HP and plus 3 speed and defense, no recoil attached. If you really want to make Wyvern Flight work, maybe we can get a tier 4 in the future, you may want to go with a speed boon. Merges and Dragon Flowers also help with flat stats. Another option to boost those stats are boss and debuffs. For Arian, speed and res 03 fills in his missing field boss, and you need to be near your flyers to give them charge anyway. For some regular combative perks, attack and defense catch 3 is fine to keep, you don't have to go fury, especially if you don't want to use wire and flight. Attack smoke can be nice for mix phase, guard is nice to slot on specials when you're initiating. Of course, Arian also has the whole selection of flyer mobility skills to choose from. Now, it's not budget. But we recently had a new Framer Cod manual for Pirate to Barn. He has Heavy Blade 4 and Dive Bomb 3. Actually, a pretty neat build for Arian. Like to Barn, Dive Bomb or proc off Gungnir's free fob attack. You then get Heavy Blade 4. This is basically Arian's only quote on option, but if you want to be initiating, then it can lead to a special. Unfortunately, if you're going to run it with Dive Bomb, ideally Aaron will be hitting twice in a row, you're only going to be able to charge and proc 2 quit on specials. If Aaron can get hit back though, he could instead proc Bonfire. Generally, I would go with Bonfire over Ignis unless you can get Aaron Breath type quit reduction. For premium skills, there are some options for the Wyvern Flight conditions. Solid Ground is flat plus 7 attack and defense and will sacrifice res. On my Vaulter, I made a fun Wyvern Flight plus Menace build. Menace gives you field buffs and deals the foe. Both will contribute to easier Wyvern Flight conditions, and Speed and Defense Menace can be that difference maker even if the defense buffs are wasted. 
For some other skills, Aaron's specialty is that charge 3 space warp. You can run player phase skills like Sturdy Impact for fall denial, near trace for Kanto to retreat, and attack smoke 4 or panic smoke 4, it can provide extra enemy phase power. You can also try something like Guidance 4 or Soaring Guidance. With Guidance 4, you can let infantry and armor allies keep up with your charging flyers. If you're going to go with Soaring Guidance, now the charge flyers also have extra warp options. As much as I would like to suggest Gale Force, it's a tough sell. A lot can stop your 5 quid on Gale Force when your Heavy Blade is your only quid on perk. Now if you want to brawl it out in the sky, Guard Bearing 4 and Gambit 4 provide percent damage reduction. High defense is nice, but percent TR is crazy strong when it's not stopped. Without slaying, Aaron can also get the full 5 quid on Aether, which means Gambit 4 offers 50% DR and 15 true damage per hit. With Gungnir, you could honestly get like 25 plus true damage per hit, which is kind of crazy. As a bonus, these two skills also inflict speed debuffs, so if you do want to do any kind of speed build, then they can help you in your endeavors. As for skills not listed, you could get percent DR with something like Guard 4, maybe you wanted to run a more defensive distant counter build since Aaron has out shield. For initiations, you can go with Flow Flight. Honestly, it might be a better fit than Wyvern Flight since Aaron has his charge specialty. Skills that Aaron can use, but maybe a little iffy, are Desperation 4 and Flow Desperation. They proc off Gungnir's follow-up attack, but if the air is cancelled, then you may have a dead skill, like with Dive Bomb. Generally, with those skills, you can use a super fast unit, since if you outspeed, you have no issues. As for another stat booster not listed, obviously with 3 movement, Clash is a pretty excellent option. So, should you 5 star Aaron? We have a lot of lot of free to play Lance Flyers. Some have gotten pretty good refines if you want a unique weapon, and then we got, or we just got Spring Michaelis earlier, who has similar Wyvern Rider stats. Compared to other high defense units, Aaron does bring a little more speed. It can be useful, but obviously he ain't gonna be a pure speed demon. What will help Aaron stand out from his peers is his unique Lance. Haired Gungner is a solid free to play weapon, not super busted, but offers a rare support perk in charge for all nearby flyers. Aaron can be a budget legendary Hinaka, and technically, he can still run things like Guidance 4. In terms of combat, having that free fall attack is enough to open build options for Aaron. He doesn't need to go for quick repose, and he can use his higher damage to bust tanks down by doubling into them with fall deny effects. We also got some Nice new skills to run like Gambit 4, but Charge also works with Impact or Kanto skills and other player phase options. As for fodder, Wyvern Flight 3 is rare, however, it's also niche. There is no tier 4 currently, but it probably will happen. I'm not sure it'll be worth using even for a decent user like Arian. In the end, Aaron has a lot of free to play lands competition, his own father got a decent refinement, Altana should get one eventually. Combat wise, he's not doing anything super unique. Gungner is serviceable, but the charge status support is what makes him stand out. The issue is that it's for flyers only. If you're not running multiple flyers, then it may not be so helpful. Arian may just be charging in alone. Also keep in mind, the war bubble guy, gatekeeper, just gotta refine. Charge as a status effect is warp movement. It will just run into a wall if warp bubble is present. With that said, Aaron is a, still a good heroic rail unit, serviceable combat, unique slash rare mechanic in charge support, and all right stats. He isn't a unique class type at all, but if you're looking to build a high defense lance flyer, Aaron can be a fun project. That's all I have to say for now. Let me know your thoughts on Aaron and share your own build ideas if you want to use him. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.